Hello everyone. Good evening. Welcome to the solutions for BSDS sample paper 2024. We are done with question 11, so we will move on to question 12. Question 12 is actually quite easy. It's <laughs> so easy that I found it in a textbook. And now I will just explain you the solution. I have already noted it down. So what is the question? Let S be the unit square side of length one. G be the largest circle inscribed within S and then h be the largest square inscribed within g so you have a unit square right you have a unit square you put a circle inside it then you put another square inside of it all right so i hope you can draw a better diagram in the rough space than i did but the concept is so simple that you probably do not need to draw a diagram so let us look into the solutions see how is it done so first we calculate the radius of the larger circle g so the largest circle that can be inscribed within the square touches the square at the midpoints of its sides, right? So I hope you can imagine if there is a square, then the circle will touch the midpoints of the sides. So therefore the diameter will be equal to side length of the square. Okay. So which is one, therefore radius is half of the diameter. Radius is half. All right. So let us ignore the radius for now and remember the diameter, the diameter of circle G. equal to one, right? One units, one unit. Now what will be the length of square H? Square H will be placed inside the circle. So the diagonal of the square will be equal to the diameter of the circle, right? So if the diagonal of the square is equal to the diameter, then by Pythagoras theorem, we can find the side length of the square. So D square will be equal to A square plus A square, right? So one square, which was the diameter, we wrote it down. Right, one square will be equal to a square plus a square, and side will be one by root two. Now, what will be the areas of G and H? The area of circle will be pi r square, so which is pi into one square, and area of the square will be a square. Right, so the ratio H by G you have to calculate a square by pi r square. Substituting the values that you have calculated, a was one by root two, so you substitute one by root two, you get half, and you substitute the value of radius. The diameter was found to be one, right? So the radius will be half, so that will be pi into one by four, which is two by pi. So what, what is the option here? That is option B. Okay. Now this question was quite easy and you didn't have to apply any concept from class 11th and 12th to figure this out, right? I could have just easily given this question to you in class nine and you would have solved it. So remember, just as I told you in all of the previous videos, there will be a few sums in these exams, which are supposed to be difficult and the sums will be quite easy. So you might think about applying coordinate geometry and area under curves, all of these things here for this simple problem, which could have been done by a student in class nine quite easily, right? So this is a very easy problem and I hope you will not have any problems with it. Okay. I'll end this question here because there is nothing more to explain and I'll see you all in question 13. Bye.